So if there are questions that like have those few things, what type of passive filters can you suggest to me if I don't want an inductor in there? Okay. In order to do that, you can actually head back to my videos on inductors and capacitors playlist. Um, it actually said that um, there is RL and RC filter, right? So RL is actually resistors and inductor. In this case, you do want inductor. Why? Because inductor creates a magnetic flux, which may actually create and distort your signals. So why? So in, instead, you can actually use RC, low pass or high pass. Okay. If you low pass, you put resistors and capacitor in this manner, and you connect with the R load parallel. And if you want to have a high pass, you just switch the capacitor over here. You put the resistors over here. So this is also explain why like that. Okay. If you want a passive, okay, passive and active. The difference is that passive doesn't use any power supply. It straight away takes in whatever thing that you have, and then you just do whatever thing that you that you need. Okay. If you have a if you want a band pass, that's not is high pass and low pass now, without inductors. So if you want a band pass, you can actually have this thing. This is actually also purely on RC band pass, only on um, capacitors. So you put a low pass and a high pass um, filters in series, then you can create this thing. Um, yeah, and then you have to connect a load over here. This is where there will be a load over here, right? So there will be a load. If you imagine, imagine there is a line that I'm drawing, there is the R load over here. So this R load over here will show this graph over here because they didn't actually draw the R load, which is very complicated. Yeah, anyway, so um, this is for the band pass. If it's a not filter, you're going to have <coughs> a low pass and high pass filter, cap RC filter, okay, because you don't want inductor. So you're going to have that um, in parallel. In this case, you have this one, not shooter. And as you can see, there is an R load over here now. That's not, do you see any R load? There is no R load. Yeah, R load is missing. Hey, R load is over here. Sorry, my fault. But yeah. So this is for passive, passive filter. Okay. <laughs> this is for passive filter. And then for active filter, what are you gonna do? Active filter is that you need an um, OM amplifier and you need a supply. Okay. Meaning active. So you need some supply in. So let's say you have a, a op amp that is the going up and like that, right? And then, uh, yeah, you have a V V source in. You can actually supply a, a positive source or you supply a, a, a negative source. If you supply a positive source, you output a positive one. Uh, right? If you supply a negative, you output a negative. It also depends on your, yeah, on your V in or your V out in a certain sense. So if let's say your V in now is positive, you supply a positive, you're still positive now. But if you supply a V in, in this case, if you supply a V in, in the negative one, okay, and then you supply a power source of um, plus, you actually create a negative, negative output. Unless you supply a negative source, you actually flip the negative to a positive, so output will become positive. So these are the things that you may need to um, take note of. However, active filters itself um, doesn't mean that you use op M as a filter. Okay, you're gonna still use um, capacitor or inductors in the case, right? Just that um, what you're gonna do is actually um, to have this okay, low pass buffer RC filter. Okay, so active filters as a uh, op amp inside here in series with the with the RC filter because you don't want um, any inductors at all, right? So this is the low pass buff, buffer RC filter, this is the buffer RC high pass. So you can just put an op amp in front of them, I mean behind them, so you can actually um, isolate whatever components. Right, so this is why um, I, I can suggest you your active filters without inductors. Okay, so if it happened that your active filter suggested, um, and then you if you and then you want to ensure that my inputs are well isolated and my signals are amplified. How do you do? So you know that your active filters now is has a buffer, so to isolate the components or isolate the inputs. However, if you want to have a gain, what you can actually do is actually from this negative um, feedback, you can actually add in the resistors. You can see as you can see, if you put in a resistor over here and the resistors that connect out. 
outwards. So we can have a um, non-inverting um, amplifier with a, a buffer. So it's a buffer and gain with a low pass. So it's like a like a three in one system, right? So this is the the thing I'm gonna talk about. So low pass and high pass is the same. Um, so low pass shares the same low pass um, buffer RC filter um, diagram, just that you you add an inductor in this manner, same as high pass. So so low pass and high pass the difference is that you how you arrange your inductor and your how you arrange your resistance and your capacitor in this way, right? So in low pass is this one and this one, high pass is this one and this one. Maybe hold on a while. All right. So this is this should be the low pass. This should be the high pass. But just to double confirm, let me go to the uh, what about inductor? Yeah, low pass inductor is over here. Eh, sorry, low pass is cap. Yeah, this is low pass RC. So RC resistors has to be connected over here. So yeah, so resistors. If you take a look. A low pass, the resistor is connected over here, and then capacitor is connected over here. This is low pass, right? And then, okay, next question. So I already thought about how to amplify and isolate the system using what of um, op amps. So these are all op amps, all right? Just so let you know, these are all op amps. And then this is capacitor. Actually, this this is op amp plus capacitor, lah. Okay, plus any any other inductor, <laughs> inductor or whatever shit. <coughs> so if you have the above solution, what recommendation can you give to ensure I have the least component use? So this is still not good enough. Okay, um, meaning, uh, this 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 configuration is still not good because as you can see, it's very a lot of resistors. So what can you do? In order to have a least components, what you're gonna do is to have an inverting, inverting um, buffer filters within. You're gonna connect in um, the feedback to the inverting side. So you have an input also in the inverting. Previously, this is non-inverting. Okay, previously it was non-inverting. V in is go to the non-inverting portal. So these are the things that you're gonna take note. And then, <coughs> um, yeah. So you just connect for low pass. You're gonna connect your capacitor um, parallel to the R2. If it's for high pass, um, this is high pass actually. You're gonna connect in terms of um, parallel with the R1. I actually explained the on bit, so you can actually go to the op videos and watch it out. So um. Yeah, so I basically answered the questions on chapter seven and eight. Okay, these are the key questions that we may that may ask you to ask. Nonetheless, they have bandwidth or whatever shit, so you should also take note of them. So I'll see you in the next video to sum up what the things that additional things that you may want to go and watch in order to increase your understanding. So bye bye.